Hello and welcome to the PSCAD session. Here I assume you have already followed the installation in instructions for the PSCAD. Yeah. So I am using the institute license. So uh, I need to be connected to the system, uh, the uh, virtual private network of the campus. Yeah. So and uh, like once the license is detected, it will show you this uh, educational uh, heading here. So in case if it is not seen in your system, you need to first uh, connect to the in, uh, campus in internet, internet, and then go to the setting system setting options, and then you need to fill in this IP. So at present the IP is at this uh, uh, IP like the IP this IP is assigned for this PSCAD uh, license server. So you need to click on apply and then here you need to choose education and then you will see this legacy license education edition. Yeah. So having done that, you will see this educational uh, heading at the title bar. Okay, so let's get started. So so here we'll come, come to the, uh, this is new tab, the file tab, and then we'll create a new case. So you can choose any directory you want. So maybe I'll, I'll just keep it default here and I'll just add a case name. So let's say I'll just write example one. Yeah, and the moment I say, okay, it will generate this example one dot PSCAD, like PS PSCX format file in the directory. Yeah. So this is the canvas area wherein uh, will be uh, uh, patching a uh, electrical circuit. Yeah. So, so this is the canvas area. So I'll come to this after a short while. So let me just show you some elements which are uh, like library elements which are uh, available with the PSCAD fresh installs. Yeah. So, so initially, like we'll be just talking about this passive elements sources and then some uh, signal handling, uh, uh, like some uh, miscellaneous models are there, yeah. So this will be helpful, like uh, maybe we'll come to this little later, yeah. So there are like uh, components, then voltage source, current source, if you click on this double arrow, like uh, if you click on that arrow, you will see various descriptive uh, like sources, single phase source, three phase source, and so on and so forth. So you can choose any of the model and you can copy and then paste it in your model, fine. So for example, what I will do is I'll uh, quickly make an uh, DC source exciting a RL circuit, yeah? So let's, like series RL circuit, so let's do that. So, and just to come out of this uh, library, uh, like the uh, passive like the sources element what I'll do is I, I can click up or I hit backspace button so if I click backspace I'll come back to the main library yeah. and then here we have machines then transformers and then when various signal handling uh, attributes fine uh, we'll see this shortly in this tutorial and then for making control actions or uh, uh, some mathematical operations we have this CSM functions and then some logic uh, models are also available here. And then uh, uh, various line models, cable models. Yeah. So a lot of things are available here. And then some meters, some meter, voltmeters, etc. Yeah. So without investing too much time, let me just show you how to quickly make a, a circuit. So what I'll do is I'll come to the canvas. Yeah. And then I'll go to the main and select the appropriate uh, elements which I want. So first I'll just select this inductance and press control button and select this as well, like resistance and then we'll require a ground and for timing we'll choose the single phase source. Yeah. So there is no like DC sources available here, but uh, it's like a uh, representative representative of all these sources. Fine. So let me just show you. So if I just copy and paste it here, I think I didn't really select things properly. So maybe I'll copy it again and paste it here. Yeah. So you can see all these uh, elements. So maybe I'll just zoom in so that things are visible, visibly clear. Yeah. 
so these are the elements so uh, let me just uh, rearrange and uh, like arrange the system and then show you so i'll just select the equipment which i want to uh, like rotate let's say so i'll just press control r yeah and then drag it anywhere you want yeah and then we want this uh, resistance then this inductance like inductor and then finally the ground over here and then to wire it uh, you can click on this wire button and in case if you hover over a hover over the shortcuts you can uh, like icons you can see the shortcut for keyboard as well like so it is control w so if i hit control w you can see it gets selected and this pencil uh, icon comes over your mouse pointer so you can click here so i'm just i have clicked once and then uh, this is free so i'm not pressing any key right now yeah so i'll just go anywhere and then uh, click again to give it a turn and then press press right click on the to complete the line yeah so let me just show you here so i'll just click once left click to turn i'll again left click left click left click and to terminate i'll just click on right click the mouse right click the mouse button yeah so this is how things work out and in case if you are not satisfied with the connection what you can do is you can press escape to come out of this wire mode and then you can select the line and then you can manually uh, maybe you can structure it manually if you want the way you uh, wish to yeah and let's delete this for time being and similarly let's connect this to element so we'll press control w yeah so the circuit is done so what i'll do is i'll just save it again so in case if i change anything you can see this uh, red colored uh, dot over the file name fine so it says like this is the uh, things are not saved so what i will do is i'll just drag it again and click like press control s so you can see this red dot disappears so it means the file is saved now yeah so now let's quickly make this as a dc source so i'll just double click over it and then you can see various attributes relating to that model fine so first i'll just set in the configuration so it's like just a source so any na name you can put and source impedance for timing let's make it ideal source and yes it's a grounded so source so we'll just select yes yeah and the source type you can choose dc so we want dc so we'll just make it dc yeah and then the next thing to see is this parameter signal parameter so if you are dc we are just specifying one value so uh, since it's uh, so what i'll do is i'll just make it 100 volts fine so uh, truly speaking the unit this is made for like power system levels uh, circuit so things you will see is in kv kilo amperes megawatt something like that yeah so for for timing let's make it 100 volts so i'll just type 0.1 kv so without without changing the units for timing yeah and then this this is some ramp up uh, thing which will talk uh, which will hold on for some time so what i'll do is i'll just make it zero like zero ramp so what it says is the moment i start the simulation it's like suddenly this 0.1 kv is applied dc of 0.1 kv is applied to the circuit that's what it means yeah if i keep like point uh, point 0.1 second ramp means it will take 0.1 second to reach this uh, 0.1 kv of dc level fine so for timing let's keep it at zero and i'll just say okay so you can see the icon changing the uh, diagram representation so if i again double click you get you can see this setting again yeah and since we are not opted for any of the other uh, uh, like non ideality so to speak we are not really we can't we won't see this uh, like we we can't edit this uh, text r like the numbers here yeah and in phase if you want to monitor some something like currents or anything in kiloamps let's say you can uh, just write a variable name let's say ia1 or so but for timing let's not use any internal variables i'll just say okay and resistance let's keep it at let's say 100 ohms so i'll just write 100 ohms yeah so this is 100 ohm i'll say okay and inductor i'll what i'll do is uh, I'll, I'll i'll just make it let's say point, i'll keep it at 0.1 henry let's say so i'll just keep it at 0.1 henry so the uh, now the circuit is ready yeah 
So PSCAD, if you see, this is uh, EMTP package. Yeah? So what el electromagnetic transient program. So may mostly the uh, the dynamical circuits, like the dynamics of the circuits, uh, like involving differential equations, algebraic equations will be handled in this uh, environment, fine. So to handle the dynamical equations, like the uh, ordinary differential equations, it uses trapezoidal, like numerical integration method called trapezoidal method, yeah. So which has certain attributes, which probably which will be cleared in the uh, theory sessions by sir yeah you can you can just revisit the revisit the session yeah so what i'll do is i'll uh, quickly go ahead and just show you how how to run it so if you right click in the canvas area then you can see this uh, project setting yeah so you can see this duration of run so how for how long you want to run this simulation so solution step size in microsecond and channel plot we'll see what the channel plots are so these are like just uh, like uh, resolution of uh, plotting, yeah? So in, in case if you want quick plots, like not, not much uh, numbers to see, what you can do is you can increase this uh, step size here. I'll, I'll just show, talk about this thing. And there are various other tabs also, but for the first tutorial, let's not worry too much. So right now we are worried about only two things here. So duration on of like final time, T final of the simulation, and what should, what should be the step size for the trapezoidal method, yeah? So I'll just say, okay, so this very same setting is also available here. So you should note this first number, the this is the final time in seconds, and the, this two are the in microseconds. So this is the step size for simulation, and this is step size for plotting. So for timing, let me make it uh, 100 microsecond for both, like simulation as well as plotting. Yeah. So it depends on circuit, in fact, what step size to choose. So in fact, I, Towards the end, I'll just show you, uh, this is, for solving this system, actually 100 microsecond is an overkill, fine. But anyway, let me just, let's let's go ahead and see what, uh, what uh, result we get, fine. So this circuit is ready, so in case if you hit run button, as such you don't have any output to be seen, like no meters are placed. So let's quickly place a meter, let's say a meter we want to introduce, like we want to measure the inductor current, let's say this circuit current. So I'll go to component, and you will see this emitter, voltmeter to ground, and uh, like various uh, keys here, in fact, uh, various icons, yeah. So what I'll do is I'll just select a meter and just place it somewhere here, and then uh, break this uh, wire, let's say, and then bring it again here, and then press Control W and connect it, fine. So I hope you can see this uh, meter being placed, uh, which is, if you double click, you can rename it. So for timing, let's keep it as IA. So that is what IA is. And let's say uh, we want to view what IA is. So we want to plot it in fact, fine. So wha what to do? So if you come again to the components tab, you will see this uh, output channel icon. So you can just click it and just place it somewhere here, let's say. Yeah. And we want this signal to be plotted. So what I'll do is I'll just click on this data label paste it here and then again I'll just connect this signal to this uh, scope. I'll double click here and I'll just assign the same name, IA, let's say. So this and this variable in fact are connected. So so this is actually the in circuit current, like this circuit current which will be plotted, yeah. And I'll just double click in the, uh, uh, what do you call the uh, output channel and depending on the version of PSCAD you will see different options altogether, yeah. So for my version, this 4.6.3 version, uh, different option in the sense like some settings, uh, some uh, tab, like some uh, option may not be available to you. For example, here I have this use signal name as title. I will just say yes, so so that I need not name it again, like need not handle too many variables later. Yeah. So you may not see this thing changing, but uh, when we run it, you will see this really change. The untitled will directly become IA because we have chosen this yes. So whatever signal we are supplying, that signal's name will be attributed to this, fine. So so we have just created an output channel, but we want to view it. So what we'll do is we'll right click on this uh, block, go to graph menu, 
and then select this add overlay graph with signal fine so let me just show you again so right click in this graph meter and add overlay graph with signal yeah and i'll just paste it here and you can resize it if you want yeah so let me just keep it this small and then zoom to the system yeah so this is the system and the settings we have made so let's quickly run and see what result we get but before running let's quickly see, uh, like one should have an appreciation of what kind of transients to expect yeah so it's a very uh, like pretty simple uh, circuit it's an rl circuit so we know and it's excited with dc source and it's a step connection in the sense like initially it is zero and at t0 it this source is applied to this circuit rl so we can uh, will expect an exponential uh, the current will be exponentially rising and the final uh, current the steady state current in this situation like we are since we are giving 100 volt and 100 ohm as resistance so we'll have 1 ampere 1 ampere of current yeah and the the time constant if you see it is l by r so it is 0.1 by 100 ohm fine uh, the value is like uh, 0.1 by 100 it's like 1 millisecond so the current will take like in one mil like in five times of this time constant mean means which is like 5 millisecond the current will reach the steady state so we know this from theory yeah so what we'll do is like uh, instead of plotting it for 0.5 second since our uh, transient will be uh, completed within 5 uh, millisecond what i'll do is i'll go here and just uh, set the final time to let's say uh, 50 millisecond or let's say 100 millisecond so i'll just say 100 e minus 3 so it is 100 like point in second in fact yeah so we'll just save it and what i'll do is i'll come to home and just click on this run button fine if every so you, you can see some messages popping here so it is saying building simulation uh, executable for example yeah and finally it ran the case so you can see some uh, uh, blue line appearing so what uh, to zoom it what you can do is you can click uh, you can click in this arrow here right click arrow and you can choose like zoom out zoom in x axis zoom y axis zoom so on or you can come to the uh, like canvas like click on the canvas area like the plot canvas area and then you can hit r which will auto set the figure to the uh, what you call uh, to the precision yeah so what i'll do is i'll just make it thick so that things are visible like things are better visible and if i just hover somewhere anywhere in the graph so you can see uh the main ia variable it is 0.001 fine so actually the units are in kiloamps and kilovolts so i hope you can understand this this is 0.001 kiloamps so which is 1 ampere which is which we know already yeah which is correct 1 ampere and the time constant if you look so if i just uh, left click and just zoom it somewhere at the portion you can see uh so at around 5 millisecond let's say here see at around 5 millisecond it reaches the steady state almost the steady state is reached yeah so we got it now so this is a simple uh, like quick example to how to get started with pscat yeah so next like uh, in case if you want to let's say uh, add some more dynamics let's say let me just include uh, capacitance fine so i'll just go to main uh choose capacitance here say copy and paste it here and then rotate press control w to connect yeah so circuit is now connected and the value let me just keep it at 100 microfarad yeah and i'll just say okay so in case if this is the circuit so so what what to see now yeah so since it's a dc like dc step voltage we are applying to the uh, uh, this rlc and we already know uh, like we'll have this resonant uh, we have the series resonant of 1 upon under root lc yeah so frequency of 1 upon 2 pi under root lc so i'll, I'll just uh, calculate that number what it comes out to yeah i have opened uh, like a octave terminal which will uh, uh, just provide us a, uh, a way to calculate this number yeah so maybe i'll just show you this 
so it's like like we have uh, like we need to calculate the frequency just to see like uh, if things are correct yeah so it is 2 pi into square root of lc so l is 0.1 henry and uh, c is 100 microfarad so if i hit enter you will see this is like 50 hertz so around 50 hertz oscillations you can expect and depending on what value of resistance you have chosen the damping of this oscillation uh, may change fine so just to start what i'll do is i'll uh, make this resistance very very small fine so that it is as good as negligible so i'll just say 1e minus 5 let's say yeah so it is as good as lc resonant excited with a step dc voltage yeah so and uh, see one needs to worry about the step size as well fine so for example 50 it's like 50 hertz uh, signal you have like oscillations you need to capture so time period wise it is one by answer which is like 20 millisecond fine so to capture it at least your step size should be less than 10 millisecond so but we here we have used uh, like 100 micro so which is uh, 100 mic uh, if you remember 100 microseconds we have used which is much better than this 10 millisecond fine so this number still suffice for our usage so what uh, yeah without investing too much time let's uh, let's run and expect let's see what what value we get fine so we are we expect a undamped like a current will be an oscillatory uh, since we know there will be an lc resonant at dc dc excitation and resistance is negligible but still it is there so we'll have a damp uh, like what you call uh, damped sinusoid but this damping is very 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 poor fine so we'll expect uh, undamped oscillation of almost an undamped oscillation of 50 hertz approximate 50 hertz so let me just show you that fine so this is how we relate uh, our analytical skills via uh, via this simulation software fine you can just test it out fine so so that you can believe it the results are correct so yeah so now what we'll do is we'll uh, just run it and let's see what current we get see now the result we got it so now i'll just press r r like clicking on this canvas and then i'll just press r fine so i hope you can see the uh, uh, trend so to speak so it's an uh, undamped almost undamped fine because the resistance is very very small and in case if you happen to uh, match the frequency let's say peak to peak frequency it is like uh, I hope you can see this. So this line to this line, fine. Or let me put it this way: from this zero crossing to this zero crossing, it's almost 50 hertz, isn't it? 0 0.03 minus 0 0.01. See, from here to here. Let me just show you from this to this. Fine. So it is almost 50 hertz. I hope you understand that. Yeah. And so this is this. This seems correct, fine. So in case if you run for long time then you will see that damping effect but this is very very poor like the resistance is very small so you cannot you may not see damping so what i'll do is i'll increase it gradually and show you so let me put it let's say point point uh, zero one uh, ohm yeah and let me just run it so you will see some damping effect will pop in again this is too small so what i'll do is i'll just make it one ohm run it again yeah now you can see the see it is damping out yeah so what is this damping equal to again you can do anal you can analytically solve it and uh, uh, probably it is minus r by 2l that number comes up fine so uh, so that is the uh, like real part of the eigenvalue of the system if you just solve it probably you will uh, uh, you will get those numbers fine but let's not worry too much let me make it 100 again or let me make it 10 and see what damping we get see it so this is the kind of uh, waveform we get like this is the current waveform yeah and uh, we know by theory since it's an uh, dc source and uh, capacitor is in series so steady state current should be zero fine so if you see the current is going towards zero so if i run it for longer time you will you may be able to see that it reaches almost zero like near zero yeah like in fact zero it, it goes to zero in long time yeah see this long and small again everything is are compared with the time constant let's say time constant or uh, time period of the transients which you expect yeah so relative to that 
like if you run it for long time you will see uh, it eventually converges right and now let's say in, in case if you want to measure the capacitor voltage also in this very same graph so what you can do is we'll just click on this voltmeter to ground and and then directly i'll just click it here and press control uh, okay let what what i'll do is i'll just take it little bit to the left and then rotate this and connect it here yeah yeah and this is wire so the meter should be connected appropriately yeah and i'll just make it as vc yeah and what i'll do is i'll just copy this segment here copy and paste it here and i'll just call this as vc vc so the same variables here and uh, again the setting is like uh, use the signal name as title will be there so what i'll do is i'll just click this to overlap like plot in the same uh, figure what i'll do is i'll just click this and press control button and just drag it so what what happens is it it will just get added fine so let me just do that see we'll see this two different i like two ias are appearing but uh, but it's not it's like one one of them is vc fine so let me just run and show you see so i hope you can see this so you can see in green color or maybe in case if you want you can change the color also so uh, let me just make current as bold red so you can see this bold red and if i hit r button you can see this voltage also yeah i hope you can see this blue colored voltage yeah and since the current is see too very very small in comparison to voltage so what you can what you could have done is you could have like uh, like we could have added one more frame to this graph and you can uh, you could have observed things appropriately like two one more figure you could have stacked here fine so instead of that one can also scale it manually so if i let's say i want to just zoom in ia for 10 times or 100 times or 10 times let's say yeah so i'll just click on this output channel and scale factor i'll just make it 10 times and say okay yeah and then again run it see now you can see the current is uh, scale has improved and in case if you notice one more thing there will be a green dot appearing here which says like the uh, there is uh, the scale have been changed it is not unity fine so in fact we have made it 10 times so let's let's make it uh, 50 times let's say or 20 times 50 times let's say yeah See now you can see voltage and current also, and since we are uh, plotting this capacitor voltage, so we expect it to reach at the whatever DC voltage we have applied, yeah. So which is hundred volt. So you, if you see, it will eventually reach hundred volt in in long run, fine. Again, that long run, in fact, you can calculate by uh, knowing the uh, real part, like the damping factor of these, uh, analytically knowing the damping factor of the circuit, yeah. of this system in fact yeah okay so uh, this is uh, i think this sh this should suffice uh, uh, like exploring the ps cad is fine so this is a very basic tutorial for timing so later on like we, uh, we can uh, we can again have another like some advanced tutorials to show you some maybe a power electronic circuit or how to use breakers or switching actions or how to make control blocks fine but let's uh, hold those plans for timing yeah okay so we'll uh, conclude here